This is Speak My Word Ministries' Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse Day is about a really good reminder of how to answer the progression of how we answer questions. And a, a, a good reminder to me, too, probably, you know, ready, fire, aim. But this is a story, a true story from Nehemiah, the book of Nehemiah, chapter 2. And just as a very quick background, this is after the exile. The, and you know, all the Israelites had been, most of the Israelites had been deported to to Babylon, where they lived approximately 70 years, and then they were able to come back. And Nehemiah is, Nehemiah is serving the king, King Artaxerxes. And Artaxerxes, Nehemiah is serving as a cupbearer, so a very trusted position. And we're going to see here how the king asks Nehemiah a question, and Nehemiah responds. And in, in, in the way he responds is what I want to point out in this daily pulse. This is out of Nehemiah chapter 2. I'm going to read from verse, pick it up from verse 1 down to verse 5. It says, I took the wine and gave it to the king. I had not been sad in his presence before, so the king asked me, Why does your face look so sad when you are not ill? This can be nothing but sadness of heart. Nehemiah says, I was very much afraid. But I said to the king, May the king live forever. This, why should my face not look sad when the city where my fathers are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been destroyed by fire? The king said to me, what is it you want? And right here, listen to this in Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 4. Nehemiah has asked a question. Artaxerxes, king Artaxerxes asked Nehemiah a question. He says, what is it you want? And listen to ne what Nehemiah does. Then I prayed to the God of heaven and I answered the king. He prayed first, and then he answered the king, and he said, If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in his sight, let him send me to the city in Judah where my fathers are buried, so that I can rebuild it. Again, Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. So again, what I'm pointing out here, emphasizing is pray, then speak. Not the other way around. Ready, fire, aim. You know, speak, then pray. Sometimes we need to pray after we speak, don't we? Because we put our foot in our mouth. But in this case, as I was reading through that, I wrote down in my little prayer journal that, and started, that is a good reminder to all of us that when we're being asked questions, or even not just when we're being asked questions, but when we come upon situations that are difficult, or when we come across even situations that are that are great, suddenly we have a, you know, a, 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 we found a $20 bill in our pocket, what to do with that? We, you know, even commit that to God. God, what do you want me to do with this $20 bill? Give everything to God. Engage in a conversation with Him just as you were sitting across the table talking to your best friend. He is your best friend. He's your advocate. And though you may not see him, he's there as real as real can be. Talk to him and get his insights and see what he wants you to do. It's, it's not like the eight ball where you shake it up and you find, oh, you know, maybe, or ask again later. God does reveal wisdom through his Holy Spirit, and we can trust him in all situations. He will never lead us astray. In Jesus' name, amen.